Last week, I reviewed the Huion Canvas Pro 22 2019 edition, and one of the critiques I had was the lack of the ability to program multiple profiles to your hotkeys. Little did I know, that already existed. Unfortunately, I didn't know it when I reviewed it. Hey, I'm John, an artist and writer, and I do reviews and tutorials on devices and programs that help in the creative process. Now, if you don't want to miss any of my content, click that subscribe button, hit that bell, and you'll be notified anytime I upload new videos. Now, as pointed out by fellow YouTuber Reckoner UK, cheers, mate, thanks for the tip. We're going to get on to the tutorial, and I'll check you guys out in a minute. So I am going to walk you through this real quick and just show you how it works. So capturing the screen here, have the camera behind me just so you can see the buttons. And what we're going to do is the Huion driver here, we can either double click it to bring it up or we can right click and hit settings. Now the settings part is where all the magic takes place. Alternatively, if you just double clicked it like I did the first time, it's this little gear button where all the magic happens. See, this is what I missed. I didn't even know it existed. So under this general settings, beneath that you have hotkeys. That's basically the short key to just bring the, you know, the settings up. Updates, it's gonna go check up with the Huion servers, make sure there's no driver updates. So again, really talking about that maturity of the Huion drivers, right? So general settings, we have this thing, all apps. That's equivalent to sort of, um, you know, global settings, you know, across windows and everything else. What you wanna do here so you want to drop this down. Now, here's where the magic happens. You have to hit this plus button to hit add app. Now, I've already added, say I wanted to add NVIDIA Web Helper. Okay. All of a sudden, it appears in my menu. If I drop down, you can see I already added Photoshop and I already added Clip Studio Paint. What you do now is, if I want to hit Photoshop and I click edit, it looks like the same familiar screen. Okay, so just, just for demonstration, we're going to take this first key up here, okay, so the camera can pick it up. We're going to double click. I'm just going to call this hand. We're going to clear the string. We don't need, see these are the modifiers here. We don't need any of them. Okay, so I'm going to click in here. Hit my space bar, I'm gonna hit okay, and there we go. Okay, so we're gonna hit apply, okay. Okay, and then when I'm in here, I hit the space bar with my keyboard, we see that works. And now also, let's do it this way. We can also see hitting the shortcut key also brings up the hand. Now if I bring up Clip Studio Paint, okay, I'm hitting the space bar, but I've hit this button here. You notice it doesn't do that. That's because that's the application specific profile settings that we've been talking about. So I'm gonna shortcut my way in here just by going to settings. And now this time I'm gonna pick Clip Studio Paint. I'm just gonna click edit. And I'm gonna to go to that same button and do the same thing. I'm gonna clear the string. I'm gonna get rid of the modifier I'm going to call this hand, click the space bar, hit OK. Now, look, look, if you don't clear string, what happens is, watch, if you just try to, then, then you try to delete and then back up, it just goes crazy and starts adding it. So you have to clear the string. So do that again, add space bar, OK, apply, OK again. Keyboard, we can see it moving around. We're going to press this key here and you see that's how it works. So. It's really as simple as that. It's, it's very similar if you're used to using a Wacom. Uh, it's a great addition, something that I noted in my critique. I'll put it in the description of my other review and link to this video so people uh, you know, understand that this is now a feature. And by the way, this is not just specific to the Canvas Pro 22. This is in the driver, folks. So this is now gonna be in anything this driver covers, which is the Canvas Pro 13, 16, um, and anything else that applies to the 20 and anything else that applies to this specific driver. So um, glad I was able to clear that up. Now this feature, again, not really advertised. So I thought I'd do a little video on it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We got more stuff coming, guys. 
We got more tutorials, more reviews, different stuff on writing, different stuff on drawing. Keep watching, keep liking, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Thanks for watching.